Hey guys, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon after the stream. So, good things happened last time on the stream. Uh, we destroyed the Baron, we killed everyone of Crimson Curse, and Zeef is back from the grave. So that's also, that's very good. I'm just removing a bunch of bad things on these things, and we are actually nearing late game with our units, so we're going to have to recruit some more fresh meat. Uh, I recruited Chris Barassa here, and I upgraded the armor smithing to level 4, so all our guys are pimped out. Also, increased experience recruits. So, hopefully... Why is the Grave Robber in the front slot? I didn't choose them for this positioning. I chose them to be like this. Jeez, why did they do that? Anyway, um... I'm going to be running bread with the Shameful Locket because it does give accuracy and crit at the cost of stress. Our party is pretty much just a rush party because we don't have any healers available apart from Tilly who's a level 5. And I don't really want to go to level 5 without at least level 5 skills. Or armor at that. So this is what we're rocking. Um, pretty sure it's almost self-explanatory why I'm running them. You know, stuns are necessary. This party is a bit weird because we are running move skills, and hopefully it will be that the Highwayman goes first, and then the Grave Robber, and then the Man at Arms, and then the party will be in the exact same position. But that's probably not going to happen. Anyways, let's go. Two of these. I'm pretty sure we have absolutely no need for blood right now. It's by ten torches. Never know when you can use a torch or three. Maybe we'll find a secret room. We've only gotten like one of those so far. I I now find it very easy to believe that they nerfed the occurrence rate of secret rooms. We also don't have that much scouting. We don't have any good scouting trinkets. We have one scouting trinket. We don't even have a seer stone. Probably not. Actually, let, let me walk into that room to see what that curio is. Might be something worth my time. And it's books. Never mind. This is what happens when I record in winter. I always get snuffly. Which is why I don't like recording in winter. I don't like recording in summer either. But, still. Uh, you... Bread has more stress. The reason I'm bringing out these two is because they're go I'm going to need to put them in stress relief anyway at the end. Let's use a key here because I'd rather keep the shovels in case I actually need them. Just, just use the torch. And there's the first one. Excellent. We're going to get Silence in the Crypts. So maybe we'll be able to do a level 5 mission. Possibly. I'm going to have to go down here, aren't I? Damn. Is that a... yeah, that's just a curio. It took me a fair while to realise that the... things were labelled either curios or other things. There's a fight here, isn't there, so I might as well pop that torch. Maximum surprise chance. Yep, okay, perfect order. So that goes 9. This goes 21. Um... I'm gonna actually hit you. I know I'm spreading out the damage, but oh, I removed Bellow. God damn it! I forgot about that. Well, shit. Okay, let's hope someone goes before this Bone Noble. That went terribly because I was playing around uh, using Bellow to kill him and then debuff the others. That didn't work. At least we're getting dodges thanks to the increased armor. This guy with 6 speed went first, that's not good. And there's some bleed. Oh yeah, there's rabies for you. I'm not really complaining because that's my own fault for not removing it, but... I didn't expect her to be using uh, range skills at all. Just take you out. Nice crit. Okay, let's remove the repost and put on Bellow, even though it's not level 4. I should have upgraded that. I didn't pay attention to my skills because I knew they were all fully upgraded. At least the ones that I wanted to use. 
Okay, that's a quest, isn't it? Quest, curio, curio, okay. It would have been good if I had all the quests here, but then again, it would have made a short episode. Shut up, Darius. Jesus Christ. You know what? <laughs> yeah, actually, never mind. I was gonna say, I should record some of this off-screen so that I can just gather all of the journal pages. But then again, I might find something worthwhile there. And plus, I don't want my heroes to level up very quickly, so I can keep doing these level 3 missions. For a while. Until we get enough finances to be able to do level 5 missions with ease. Well, not with ease, with a decent chance of survival. Uh, this isn't looking good. He can bellow from slot 4, can't he? Uh, no he can't. But luckily, he is a uh, quick draw. I have no quarrel with you, sir. Okay, let's smack this one in the face. You can't caltrops from uh, slot one, can you? I should equip pistol shot if I'm using this uh, party comp. I don't think it's upgraded at all, though. Let's see. Did I upgrade it? No, I didn't. It's level one. Shit. Mm, nah. Let's leave those there. Let's hit him with a consecration. Can't we just pick up that gold that we dropped then? Surely it was just like on the floor, it didn't scatter off into the nether realm. Eh, whatever. It's only a hundred gold. What can a hundred gold buy you in this game? A piece of food. Let's collect ourselves and pop the torch. A blazing star is born. Yes, I know I have two hands, but I prefer to only use one. You know what my other hand is doing? It's uh, keeping my face up. It's also scratching my body in places that I need to. Um, do I use do I use that now? Nah, just pick him in the face. That vile fiend. Chop you up. Two speed enemy goes before six speed ally, of course. Just kill. Five hundred gold. Just use this torch. I highly doubt I really need that many torches. Maybe we'll be able to gallows humor all our stress away at the end of this mission. You know what, I should eat some of this food. I mean, I brought extra because I wasn't running a healer. Curio, 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 curio. That does not help. Let's use our last key. It's actually a really good amount of gold from this short-ish mission. He is the Bone Spear Man. Is this the first Bone Spear that we found so far? I don't remember seeing another one in this run. It is a generally memorable enemy. Uh, yeah, now the bounty hunter's at the back. At least he can flashbang. Okay, we have a good stunner. Okay, let's kill you because... Actually, why'd I do that? The Bone Lancer is the much bigger threat. Come on. One damage. Shut up! Okay, good. Uh, I do kind of need more heirlooms. Even though I have like hundreds of crests, I traded in a, a bunch of them for other things I needed. Mostly just deeds. I'm out of busts now, and I'm out of deeds as well. Um, you are a problem. Should I just... You know what, if I do that, I'm committed to using the, gre the bounty hunter as a bloody stun bot. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure, why not? Six. That's not too good. Come hither. Okay, it didn't actually pull, but Come Hither wouldn't have pulled either. I don't know what the point of Come Hither is when Flashbang is just, like, guaranteed to be better. I mean, it's a stun, and stuns are overpowered enough in this game. Let's do this. Didn't stun. For th that's, that's very surprising. Okay, the man at arms is slow as shit, so I didn't expect him to actually go before either of them. A singular strike. Singular word. That word is Scobulbunt. Foul warning. I don't think I've ever actually seen that move because I didn't play in the Radiant update because of reasons that you all know of. I do not. I need not mention it again. Okay, just kill. Two. Very weak. Weak. Just mark him for death. I'm pretty sure the corpse is just going to disappear soon anyway, and I'll use that as pseudo stress healing. If it actually gets off, of course. Just smash the corpses. Oh, there we go. Just what I need. Just what I needed. Wow, he has minus 11 speed. You slow as shit, bruh. Oh, rubies. Hmm. Holy water. It's holy water, right? Ah, it burns. Okay, let's use a shovel here. My oh boy, 300 gold. I know I bash some of the contents, but shouldn't destroy too much of it. It's a shovel. We should be careful. You could just use it as like a lever. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what's going through these weirdos' minds. They could be just bustling with greed. You know what? This mission may be just very good. I mean, nothing bad has happened. We haven't found the Collector. In before collector that summons pelagic groupers instead of heads. You know what? I I wish. Actually, not. I wouldn't wish. I. You know what? Go through this series, and count the amount of times that I say pelagic grouper. I bet it's in the like. I bet it's reached like one thousand or something like that. Not even joking. Um, if I do this, then he has to defend. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, you are the you you are the squishiest. And get out of here. Any binding of Isaac fans here? Well, there's the uh the, the marked rock. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. That was terrible. I'm never coming back here. Just, just, just move forwards. You can function perfectly well from that slot. And the ground quakes! Hey, this guy's dead. This guy is dead from bread. Oh, wow! Actually resisted the flashbang. That's surprising. Resist this. My ass. And here we see the Bone Commander. Dead. You know, how do you reach the rank of Bone Commander? Who promotes the skeletons in this army? Or maybe it's just a normal commander that got turned into a skeleton. Yeah, that sounds a lot more likely. Does anyone have Thanatophobia? Nope. Well, it's your lucky day. Here you go. Expect the worst, hope for the best. I 
need to ask Trellion to fix up that pelagic grouper mod. In before final boss versus four pelagic groupers video. That may very well happen, actually. So I shouldn't actually say in before, because I'd probably do that, because I'm an absolute madman. Come on, just go through the doors. Walk a little faster. Engage speed hacks! I know there is a speed hack to this game, but I can't be bothered installing it. Flurry of claws. It's not the worst ever. I mean, it has high crit rate, but that's all it has. It doesn't even have good damage. I choose you. Pikachu. Great, I I've got the stupid Hanzo at your service video in my mind. Hanzo. I need healing. Since when does Genji ever not need healing? I mean, I've played with a lot of Genjis, and they all need healing. This is why I don't really play healers very often, because I don't want to be hounded by Genjis. Those things are scary, yo. Oh no, bread. You have been breaded. Yes, not deaded, breaded. I can't believe I haven't come up with this joke, you know, before this point in time. You get you get the point. I know, it's a shuffle that does like 0% chance of happening. You know what? Get in the grave. Let's just move on up. Hit low. Okay, so lunge will kill, and lunge will kill. Take this, you gargoyle gremlin that did actually a lot of damage. I don't even know why I bother right clicking on these things. Does not benefit me in any way. Okay, there's the battle. Collector! Oh, it's a bunch of fucking spiders! And I forgot to change my party composition back to normal. Yeah, I don't know why I bothered trying to do that. Into the pit. No, not into the pit. It burns. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down as the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. I knew you would try and hit him. I knew it. Take that. Just, just get lost. I don't need you. And there's a bookcase. Beautiful. I totally need that. God, the torch drains very quickly. <sighs> and here's the last one. You have been purified. Okay, let's camp out. Camp out and camp out. Do you have prevent nighttime ambush? Yes, you do. Thank God. Let's make it a 25 stress. Do we have anything better? We literally do not. Oh, great. It stressed out two of the others. Just remove your rabies. I kind of wanted to get rid of that, but I didn't want to pay for it. I'll take a shovel. So, I sacrificed 25 stress on the highwayman to give 10 stress to the others. That's... You know what? That's actually really good from the fact that they're all going to be getting stress relief over time. Not that bad. I would have preferred at least, you know... For the 25% chance to not proc on two characters. But yeah, we got a lot of gold, and everyone's level 5, except for Cardin. I just removed a disease from you, you loony. Oh, well, at least Ostrava got dodginess. I believe we are disease-free now, once we cure this... 
Good. Okay, let's see. Um, Pagan Talisman, extra damage versus the Fanatic. We haven't seen him yet. Also, the Hero's Ring got buffed. It now gives plus 25% virtue chance instead of 15, meaning that the Ancestor's Tentacle Idol gives no benefits over the Hero's Ring. It's a Rampart Shield. It's actually really good. I, I know not a lot of people like the Rampart Shield now that it's... Ooh, what's this? Huh. You know, why would you want more Bleed and Blight Resist? I see no reason. I mean, it's, it's the Flagellant. Okay, um... There's the Berserk Charm. Speed, damage, stress, less accuracy. I, I really wish that this wasn't nerfed to reduce your accuracy a bit. I mean, it did get some extra speed, but it's not worth it for the loss of accuracy. Some classes can use this very well, like the Arbalist, but it's not that good. We will be getting the Ancestor's Pet. No, we are nowhere near ready to go into Champion Cove. Uh, we'll probably go grab the Rampart Shield next week. Infestation is still at none. So, um, let's check if we have any scrubs that want to be hired. Nope. Garbage. See you guys in the next video. Has the fucking chat window been, like, glitched out? I forgot to disable that. Fuck. 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 Damn. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I'm not a complete idiot and leave a giant blue box for the whole video. <sighs> it didn't show up when I previewed this before, but it did now. Bye.